dear students of class 9 and sorry class 9a and 9b dear students of class 9a and 9b you are requested to look at the following points of the chapter the delhi sultanate chapter number 8 topic the delhi sultanate points are as follows the said dynasty the lodi dynasty bahlul khan lodi sikandar lodi ibrahim lodi you know after the disintegration of the rule of tughlaq dynasty a new dynasty was established under the delhi sultanate during medieval period now what is this this is said dynasty this said dynasty was established the said took control you know for a period of about 40 years the said took control there were four said kings hizr khan the founder of the saids lacked the vision and the skill to establish a lasting empire so who who was the founder ruler of uh, said dynasty khizir khan khizir khan was the founder ruler of the said dynasty but he had no uh, talents and skills and he had no vision that's why his empire was not lasted long his empire did not last long so his empire didn't last long and his successors were even less competent who were they bahlul khan and later on uh, i am going to discuss about the sikandar lodi and ibrahim lodi but his successor uh, since his successors the successors of khizr khan were less competent that's why bahlul lodi an afghan noble bahlul lodi an afghan noble grabbed the throne in the year 1451 ce so the said dynasty which was uh, established by khizr khan due to less competent rulers after the day uh, rulers of the same dynasty it could not last long then another dynasty was uh, established then another dynasty started ruling delhi the name of that dynasty was lodi dynasty the lodis were afghans and belong to the khizlai tribe their kingdom was larger than the said dynasty the first ruler was bahlul khan lodi bahlul khan was the founder of the lodi dynasty in india he took over the empire from the next ruler from the last ruler then declared himself to be the new founder ruler of a founder ruler of a new dynasty the lodi dynasty alam shah and tried to add more territories to conquest he was only practically successful in doing so bahlul khan's territory was spread across jaunpur gwalior uttar pradesh etc etc in the year 1490 uh, 1486 he appointed his eldest son barbaksa as the viceroy of jaunpur after his death his second son sikandar lodi succeeded him as the king now who was sikandar lodi the second son of bahlul khan lodi sorry the second son of yeah the second son of bahlul khan lodi and the brother of barbak barbaksa so sikandar lodi was the second son of bahlul khan lodi sikandar lodi tried to recreate the lost glory of the lodi a uh, lost glory of the great sultanate but he, he conquered at the same time he conquered jaunpur and bihar and shifted his capital from delhi to 
Agra, who was he? He was Sikandar Lodi. But his intolerance towards the Hindus made him extremely unpopular. The strong Rajput principalities were in constant battle with him. Sikandar Lodi came to power at the time when the Rajputs had a very strong race and war uh, liking uh, uh, war liking people of India, war liking rulers, war liking citizens of India. During that time, the Rajputs, the Rajputs, nobles, Rajputs, Nawabs, Rajput rulers of uh, of local vicinities, they showed their highest talents and qualities against their enemies. Although they had no unity, yet they tried their level best to defeat their enemies. But during that time, when Sikandalodi came to power in Delhi, the Rajputs became very much powerful. But his intoler his intolerant policy. His policy of religious intolerance made him completely unsuccessful ruler and he could not gain any popularity from the country India. Although they belonged to Afghanistan, yet Sikandar Lodi could not gain popularity because of his intolerant policy, because of his policy of religious intolerance. As a result, the major portion of Hindu people they <clears throat> were not satisfied with his administrative skill and uh, foreign skill, foreign uh, policy. So the strong Rajputs raised hue and cry against Sikandar Lodi. Then Ibrahim Lodi. Sikandar Lodi was succeeded by his son Ibrahim Lodi. Ibrahim Lodi was a cruel and intolerant man very much cruel and intolerant man, hated by his own king's men for his self-indulgent and cruel ways. The Delhi Sultanate fell to an energetic and ambitious outsider who was asked by the Rajputs to help them oust the cruel and disputable, uh, mm -hmm. dis, uh, dis, uh, reputable Ibrahim Lodi. Ibrahim Lodi had no skill, no talents. He remained busy all the time. He remained busy in recreative works, in entertainment works. Number of dancers used come from different. Used to come to join his programs uh, from different parts of India. As a result, but the nobles they all declared themselves to be independent. They had no respect for Ibrahim Lodi because Ibrahim Lodi had no attention towards his administration, towards, uh, you know, the all-round development of the country. They belong to, they actually outsider. Ibrahim Lodi, Sikandar Lodi, they all outside, were outsiders. But what step had been taken by his father Sikandar Lodi, Ibrahim Lodi failed to do it so. That's why... Ibrahim Lodi, and not only that, Ibrahim Lodi was very, uh, 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 Ibrahim Lodi was very intolerant person, and not only that, he was very self-indulgent and cruel, cruel king, cruel ruler. That's why no one extend, no one extended their cooperation towards Ibrahim Lodi. On the contrary, one of the most important Lodi, Daulat Khan Lodi. The governor of Punjab and Alam Khan, Sultan's uncle, both of them invited Babur, who was the king of Kabul, to help fight Ibrahim Lodi. Babu, Babur, they knew, they heard of Babur that Babur was very much interested to come to India and to invade. And since Babur belonged to the family of Taimur Lang and Chengiz Khan, that's why. Both of them, Alam Khan and Ibrahim Lodi, thought that Babur would come to invade India. So it should be better, they should uh, attract Babur, so that Babur would come to India and invade India and then uh, uh, got back. So Babur would come, invade and then got get back to his own country. Meanwhile, 
they would somehow manage a babar and establish a new rule their own dynasty but what was the intention of babar babar did not disclose it babar wanted to establish a new dynasty in india but babar babar you know pretended that he was coming to india to invade that very country but what was his intention he did not disclose it as a result he met the two persons daulat khan lodi and aram shah under uh, dark that's why both of them were misguided by ibrahim misguided by babar so but initially they decided to call to decided to make a call for babar so that babar would come to india and invade, invade this country and they would start a new rule instead of ibrahim lodi because they knew that babar was a great fighter babar was a very you know brave ruler so babar would be able to defeat ibrahim lodi although ibrahim lodi had uh, 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 lacks of you know soldiers and his army was very large you know but babar would be able to defeat them they knew that's why they invited babar to invade india and to defeat ibrahim lodi so babar the king of kabul you know decided to take an expedition for india Babar accepted their proposal and marched towards Delhi. He defeated and killed Ibrahim Lodi in the first battle of Panipat in the year 1526, and with his death, the Lodi dynasty came to an end and the new era of the Mughal Empire began. No Sultan of India except Sultan Ibrahim had been killed on the battlefield. It was only Ibrahim Lodi who was killed. Uh, on the ground he was killed on the battlefield while fighting against babar but babar established a new dynasty in india ibrahim lodi's intention was to stay was to continue his rule that's why ibrahim lodi ibrahim lodi tried his level best to motivate his army you know thousands of army was there under his army under, under his military group they all were paid huge amount of money and extra gifts ibrahim lodi tried his level best to motivate them by that way and they had so promised before ibrahim lodi that they would give their best efforts they would fight against ibrahim uh, against babar and would defeat them that's why ibrahim lodi was Uh, Ibrahim Lodi was uh, was confident of the victory against Babar but Babar was a different type of you know fighter what was his strategy he did not ventilate it he did not you know disclose it what weapons he was going to use in the first battle of Panipat it was unknown to Ibrahim Lodi and they were the first to have witnessed the use of gun the use of you know cannon and as a result of it they were unable to compete with them the sound the sound of you know cannons scared were scared them so in great fear many many soldiers under ibrahim lodi they left the battlefield and rest of them who were still fighting against babar they could not compete they could not chase the soldiers of babar the intelligence of babar his good leadership his talents his uh, you know uh, his uh, uh, weapons whatever he used uh, were superior to the weapons of Ibrahim Lodi so Ibrahim Lodi was killed and then a new dynasty was set up in Delhi the rule of 
the Mughal dynasty started with Babur. So Babur established the Mughal dynasty in India in the in the first by defeating the last Lodi ruler Ibrahim Lodi in the year 1526 and established a new dynasty in India, the Mughal dynasty. Up to this, my dear students, all of you, keep it in your mind because many students of class nine. A, they don't know still now who is the founder ruler of the Mughal dynasty. Sir, sir, I don't know. Like Arman Khan. If I ask any type of question, sir, I don't know. Sir, I don't know. What, what is this? You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Are you try to understand? Try to learn. Keep in contact with your book. In that case, you will be able to learn everything. And what you are being taught today, you are forgetting. Not only you, Arman, you don't take it otherwise. But other students, some students also are there. Because today, or uh, two days back, uh, I asked you some questions. But you, um, you said to me, I don't know, sir. And once you said, I don't know, sir. What is this? You are a student. You are our student. So at least you be polite, try to understand and attend all the live classes properly and watch all the videos. If you have any queries, any uh, confusion, any doubt, ask me question. I shall help you as far as possible what I am doing and you gain knowledge. Besides, you have to keep in contact with your book. You read, read out your book. If you have any problem, any doubt. On any points, you immediately uh, ask me question during my live classes. I shall help you as far as possible. And you will be able to learn the unknown things, the things which are totally unknown to you. So, my dear students, up to this. And uh, next day, I shall start teaching about the administration under Delhi Sultan onwards. Delhi Sultanate onwards. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.